Hello, Mrs. Talkington here. This week I'm going to show you how to make a jack and the beanstalk. Are you ready? Let's go up the beanstalk. Oh, who's that? Jack's climbing up the beanstalk. Oh no, who's that hiding at the top? It's the giant. Let's go up. Oh, and there, right at the top, is the giant's castle. Are you ready to start making? We're going to start by making our beanstalk. We're going to need a cardboard tube. And if you've got some green paper, you can wrap it in green paper or you can perhaps just paint it with some green paint. I've got some green paper, so I'm going to wrap it round my tube. I've already measured it to make sure it's the same size. I'm going to use a bit of sellotape to hold it still while I roll it round. When I get to the end, I'm going to put some glue along that line there. So I'm going to hold it still. You might get someone to help you hold it still. Turn up your glue just so you get the edge. Glue it all along. Now right to the edge to make sure it doesn't peel off. And squeeze it round. Then you've got the main part of your beanstalk. Okay. Right. Now we're going to need some wool or some string, anything you've got around the house. I've got some sewing thread here and I've happened to find a tiny little bit of green wool. I'm going to use the green wool to make, put the leaves on. So I'm going to attach it to the top. I'm going to use a little bit of filler tape to make it hold still. Squeeze inside that and then I'm going to wrap it round my tube. You can go around as many times as you like. Keep going until you get to the bottom. Now I'm going to cut that off, leave a little bit of hanging off and cut a little bit. And I'm going to do the same and I'm going to tuck that in and hold it still and I'm going to put it in there with a bit of sellotape. Don't try and use glue because it will just keep falling out and you want it to stay nice and firm. There we go. I might add another little bit in there just so it doesn't fall out. There we go. Right, now I've got the start of my beanstalk. Now I'm going to need some leaves to decorate it. Now I'm going to use the same trick we've used before. Instead of cutting out lots of different leaves, we're going to use a long piece of paper. You could have a white piece of paper and you could draw, you could colour them in afterwards. I've got some green paper now. I've, got, I've already folded it up so it's the same. So that when I draw one leaf on here and cut them out, I'm going to get five the same. So I'm going to use my pen to draw one big leaf with a bit of stem on attach it to my beanstalk. Okay, that will do. I hold it really still to cut it out. And instead of having just one, I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have five. Move those out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm ready to draw the veins of the leaves on them. Right, just draw some straight lines all across my leaves. I do a wiggly line, make it look bendy. There we are, two more. It's like a little arrow you're drawing on it. Yep, that's the end of that. And we're ready to stick them onto our beanstalk. Now we'd stick them just so that they're underneath the piece of string so it looks like they're growing off the vein. So I'm going to get a little bit of my Pritt stick for this. Put a tiny bit on the corner and glue it. Might even bend it just a little bit so it sticks out. You bend them before you put them on. Give it a little bend at the end. Pop some glue on that little bit there, so they're sticking out, so they're, they're growing. Give that one a little bend, all the way down your beanstalk, on there. Another one there. And one more here. 
Ja. Ja. Do as many as you like. You can make big ones and small ones, but it's nice and easy to make them all at the same time. And so you have your beanstalk. Now you are ready to make the clouds for the top of your beanstalk. Now I'm going to use a paper plate that I have left over from a party. But if you don't have a paper plate, you could just cut a piece of white card. If you haven't got white card, you could use white paper, but it's helpful if you've got something that's made of cards that's a little bit stronger. Or you could use a bit of cereal box and you could put some white sticks and white paper onto it. Now I'm going to turn it upside down so the curvy bits on the top. And I'm going to put the top of my beanstalk on top of the plate. Okay, let's see you can see that. And I'm going to use some silver tape to hold it still. Now I'd like to use glue, but it just won't hold. So the best thing is to do some silver tape and make it into a little hinge. You can turn it round, put another little silver sort of tape off, make sure it touches the top, squeeze it onto your plate, turn it around, keep going till you've got all of your beanstalk safely stuck on. Make one more. Oh, a bit big. Not too much of it showing. There we are. We're ready to turn it. There we are. It's stuck on the top, ready for your clouds. So I'm going to turn it this way up now. So we're ready to make the castle piece on the top. Now I'm going to use the one I've already made just to show you what I mean. Where is it? There we are. So we're going to attach our castle to this piece at the top. All right. Let's put that one back there. I've got a little spider just joined me making this. Now. We're going to use a piece of a cereal box. Now I found if you break up a bit of a box, any box you've got, there's always a bit at the bottom that's already bent for you. And if you cut that bit off yourself, I've got another one here that I got out of the Easter egg box I used before when I made something with you. So I've just used the bendy bit, so that's going to be the bit that sticks onto your plate and your castle's going to be here. All right, now I'm going to draw my castle. Where's my brown pen? Ready? Now, castle's got some turrets, so I'm going to draw a line down here, a line all the way across, and the line up, and I'm going to cut that piece out, because I don't want that piece, I want the shape of my castle at the top where the giant lives. Careful, go in the corner. There we are. Let's put that away. I've got a castle shape now. I'm going to use my brown pen to write, draw all the different elements of it. So I'm going to put some little U-shapes at the top to show that it looks like a castle. You could cut those out if you've, if you've got some small scissors. I'm going to put some bricks at the top here to show that it's made of brick. Now I'm ready, I'm going to do some large windows. I'm going to do three large windows here. So I'm going to draw one in the middle. And if I draw one in the middle, I'll know how big the other ones the other side need to be so they all fit on. So I'll draw the other one. I'll use those lines to make sure they're the same. So I'm going down, following that line, going across. There we go. And then some lines down the middle. One down there, one that one. They're all the same and I'm going to do so they've got three panes of glass, it makes six all together. Remember it's a giant's house, everything's going to be bigger. Now we need a door, a very big door. We're going to draw, we're going to leave a bit of space. We're going to draw a rainbow shape. We're going to join it down to the fold. If you don't, that's going to be stuck to the plate. I'm going to draw some hinges. It's a big wooden door. Put some nails in it and a handle and on top of my door I'm going to draw the porch. I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to copy these shapes at the top here. I'm going to do some turret shapes all the way along and join it up. Then I'm going to draw the posts next to it. Some lines for decoration. That's the giant's door. Now a couple more bricks maybe. You could cut them in if you want to or leave them as they are. And I'm going to change to my green pen now. And I'm going to draw 
some trees either side or some bushes either side of their door like clouds and then I use the other end of my pen I've got some nice paintbrush pens to colour in so it's colouring quite quickly fill the spaces up and the same this side if you've got paints you can do this or colouring pencils what have you got at home? I'm going to go back to my brown one again and draw the, the trunks that's grown out of the ground. There we go. Oh, and I might just add a little bit more green, get that green pen back again. Use the thin end and just draw some grass growing up the side. Right, that's my castle ready. It's ready to stick on top of my plate. So I'm going to find the middle of my plate and I'm going to stick it in and I'm going to go in and I'm going to use some sellotape. I could use some glue. I'm going to use some sellotape to be quick and then I don't have to hold it. And you're not going to see it because I'm going to put some clouds on here in a moment. Okay and that will stand up by itself. There we go. Now oops my leaf's fallen off. Let's give that a little bit more glue. That's because I'm fiddling around with it. There we go. Another leaf back on there. Right now, all we need to do is put our clouds around here. So let's get you can put some glue all on here and then get your cotton wool and place it on your plate. Okay, you might have some long cotton wool, you might have some cotton wool balls, put one behind cover up the door and I've got some pom-pom ones that I can put in there oopsie there we are and there is your super beanstalk now you might have noticed in the video at the beginning that at the bottom of my beanstalk let's find my beanstalk the bottom of my beanstalk was a little house where Jack and his mum lived. Now, all I did was get a little box, a little square box that I had, and I wrapped it in a piece of blue paper, or you could paint it, and I lifted up the lid to make a triangle, and I put some brown paper over the top in a triangle shape, and I cut out some paper for a door and some windows, and I drew the beanstalk on it. So you're all ready for your adventures for Jack and the beanstalk. I hope you enjoy it.